Good morning guys, happy Vlogmas. So I've decided I'm not gonna do Vlogmas because that's just absolutely a big fat no because I do have exams and essays and all that stuff. But I wanna do something to kind of like mark the occasion I think. Cause it's my first year and I've like grown up watching Vlogmas and been like, wow. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do like weekly Vlogmas. So I'm gonna try to upload them on Wednesdays because today is Wednesday and I'm gonna start my week now. I don't think I have anything planned for this week at all. I'll just take you along and see. I am gonna do a bit of Christmas shopping now with mum. Um, and we also bought a couch for Christmas. Is that, is that, does that count as Christmas? -y? I don't know. Anyway, we needed a new couch and we're having the family over for Christmas. So we, mum decided that we'd buy a couch. So we should go collect the couch now. And oh, actually also I'm making sure I go to Costa because I'm obsessed with gingerbread lattes, guys. I think I've said this before. I just cannot get enough of them. They are by far my favorite thing in the world at the moment. Although, do you know what? I never actually liked Costa. I think that's because my dad hates it. So it's like ingrained in me that Costa isn't nice. But since there's one like ripe side college, I went every day in college. And no, I don't go to college anywhere. But when I did go, I went every day. So I haven't had one since I last went to college, which was genuinely probably around two weeks ago. So I want a gingerbread latte. That's it. We've made the decision that we made at the very start, just an hour later. I thought we were fucking doing Christmas shopping, Mum. We've been here at the fucking cushions for, I would say, 45 minutes, trying to decide what cushions to get for the cake. And she literally ended up going with the decision that we made on the very first, as soon as we walked in, she's like, I'm gonna get these. And then we spent like 45 minutes at different ones. So our Christmas drinks have been secured and we got um, toast cheese as well. Okay, I've got the gingerbread latte. Mum, what have you got? The cherries chocolate orange. Oh God, you're hot. <laughs> Go <Cheers. us. laughs> Happy Christmas. Yes. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> it was so beautiful oh, Christmas Eve He promised me Broadway was waiting for me You are handsome, you are pretty Um, I don't think that I've picked up the camera at all this vlog but I've just kind of been doing my essays and assignments and stuff and I've been doing a few Christmassy things. I got my lashes redone this morning, obsessed. I go to the same girl all the time. I'll leave her Instagram there. She's just so good. I always get so many questions about my lashes. I have to go to work now. It's like five. Um, I'm in at half five. So I need to like leave kind of now. I'm literally so stressed. I've just got all my slums. I get like this every year. Like I feel like I'm fully on the brink of a panic attack. Ah! I just get so stressed this time of year for no reason. I don't even care about the results. Like that's that's the frustrating thing. Like I put all this pressure on myself and I genuinely don't even care about the results. I know I'm not gonna fail. Like I'm I know I'm gonna be fine. I oh oh no no my oil my oil just spilled all over the carpet. No, why are you like zoomed in as well? I'm just stressed about life at the moment. I'm just feeling a bit of, like like I said this to my dad. I'm feeling life burnout, and he was like, "You're 19," and I was like, "I know." <laughs> like, what's the rest of my life gonna be like? <sighs> I 
I had a really nice morning today. So I had my lashes done this morning. I had to get up really early um, to do my morning routine because I feel like sticking to my morning routine, like controlled controllables. I can control like how I spend my morning, you know what I mean? Like the rest of the day is kind of out of my control a lot of the time because shit happens. But I can control my morning. So I got up really early, did my morning routine, made my coffee, made my breakfast, read my book, did all that shit. Then I went, got my lashes done. My granddad collected me for my lashes. And I did have like a huge essay to do today. And I'm so, oh my God, I'm so anxious. I can actually feel it in my throat and I don't know why. I have to go to work now. Work will be good for me though. I'm able to like switch, you know what I mean? Anyway, Granda collected me from my lashes and like I had so much to do, like I really needed to go home. Like my lashes took like long enough so I like I needed to go home. And he was like, oh like do you have time to come for a quick coffee and a cake? And like I didn't but I was like, yeah of course I do. And it was just so cute. Like stuff like that just make his day but then he go, <laughs> he gets like all these like, he goes gallivanting. Like once he's out, like he doesn't want to go home. I went to Costa, got my gingerbread latte and gingerbread latte cookie. Delicious. If you haven't got it, please get it. And um, then he was like, oh, let's go Christmas shopping. And I was like, okay. And like he kept being like, you don't need to go home. Do you like, are, are you okay? Like, can, can, and I was like, yeah, of course. Because like it meant so much to him. I like, went and we made it just to see Nana and she looked so nice. I'm obsessed with my Nana style. I was like, I want that scarf definitely gonna get that scarf for christmas now they're the type of people that like i went in and i was like oh my god nana i love your scarf where to get your scarf she's like that shop um stradivarius i was like go you nana but um i was like i love it and i know now my granddad i guarantee you after he dropped me home he fucking went to stradivarius and bought me that scarf like that's the type of person that he is so anyway um we saw nana and then i was like my granddad like i do kind of have we had been gone like three hours I was like, I need to go home. I have an essay to do. I was like, I need to make lunch. I, I need to go home. And he was like, okay, yeah, of course. So then we were on the way home. And I was like, oh, can we just pull into like Massey's there at the shop and um see if they have like Rubina? I was like, I've no black her into them. And he was like, I know what we'll do. Oh my God. <laughs> so Tesco are doing this like five for five deal. You've, you've definitely seen it. It's like you can buy like five bars of chocolate in my wadi and like seven up and all this shit. And my granddad, oh my God. The seven up flows through his brains, so, through his veins. So every single time he leaves the house, he has to go to Tesco and get like five bottles of seven up. And my nana, oh my god, you open their press, there is around 20 bottles of seven up in their press. No word of lie, like I'm genuinely not joking, I'll show you next time. My nana just keeps saying, like, I, I he leaves me for two minutes, like, like they run off and he runs off. And nana's like, I see him coming towards me with these fucking five bottles of seven up, like every time they leave the house. So he was like, I know what we'll do. And I was like, yeah. And I knew where this was going. And I was like, yeah. And he was like, we won't go to Massey's, we'll go to Tesco. I was like, okay. Sure enough, he bought me 10 bottles of my Wadi. So that was my day anyway, now I have to go to work. Okay, hey, it's a new day. And I'm feeling a lot less anxious. I'm going on a walk with my two best friends now. Got an exam today at four. Oh, fuck, I'm sweating. I hate like having to wrap up to leave the house because like my house is so warm and now I'm actually sweating so I'm just gonna go meet my friends walk the park distract my head distract my brain oh yeah so update because I think I left you guys on horrendous terms last night so basically I went around to Dundrum with oh my god why is there never any masks in my house I work in Dundrum by the way and I went around and I before I went into work I was genuinely like we went into Tesco and I was walking around and I was like, mum, I actually can't breathe. Like, I was genuinely, like, full-blown anxiety attack. Because, like, I don't know what to do. And my mum was like, go down. Go into work and say, you cannot work. And I was like, I'm fine. <gasps> I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. <gasps> and I went into work. And this is just why I love my job. I was so fine in, like, 20 minutes after working. I was like, it just distracted me so much, you know what I mean? Also, we got a Christmas tree in the living in the kitchen. Hi, mum. I look to know what to get you for Christmas, Sarah. What am I to tell them? Oh, Jesus, I've given so many ideas. Okay, I'm leaving the house now. Okay, you don't have your key. The door's on the latch and you'll be home before me. Where is it your key? It's the only key, other key that we have. Have you lost that as well? No, I left it in my dad's car. You're taking the piss. 
Okay, morning. It's really early. It's like 8 o'clock or like 10 past 8 or something like that. And I've got my final exam now in like 20 minutes, 10 minutes, something like that. Then all that I have is essays and stuff to do. I think essays are quite underrated. Like people are like, oh yeah, she's no exams left. Like my mum was like, oh, you're done. Like, no, I'm not. Like today at five, I've got a 3,000 word essay. I only have 1,000 words done and I'm leaving to go to my dad's at like two. So I don't know how that's gonna work. Sex and the City was out last night. Mm -mm. So disappointed. I was really looking forward to it. There was one thing that happened there and if you watched it, you'll know what I'm talking about. And I just want to, oh my God, I was not ready for that. The rest of it is just pretty shit. Like don't remake something if you're not gonna remake it better than the original. <laughs> Hey, I'm ready to go to my dad's now. I've just packed up um, all my shit for one night. I don't know if you can see all my bags there. I have my essay to finish. I have another thousand words to do and it's due in two hours. Will I get it done? Mm, I have no choice, so I do have to get it done. Then we're going to see the lights, the like Christmas lights, I think, in Malahide. So I'll bring you along to that. That'll be fun. Then I think my cousin-in-law is playing rugby, a rugby match tonight. So we're gonna, I think dad's definitely gonna go to the, his match. He goes all the time. But I don't know if I'm going to go or not because it's fucking Baltic out. Like it's genuinely one degree. And do I want to stand outside of a working pitch at eight o'clock tonight? No. But dad wants me to. I'm exhausted. This week just absolutely wiped me. Wiped me clean. Like I can't wait for a clean slate next week though. My birth week. My mum planned my birthday today. Oh my God. Oh my God. Why do my hands look like that on camera? I promise you they're not like that. Anyway, my mum planned my birthday today. And we've got a really exciting birthday planned. I'm not gonna tell you. If you you can wait. You can watch the next vlog, but it's really fucking exciting. Um, I'm gonna go to dad's now because, yeah. Bye. It's my birth week guys. The last thing that you saw was me going to the lights in Malahide. And then we ended up going to my cousin-in-law's rugby match. I'm not even... Idiot. I'm not even gonna sit here and lie. I didn't see, um, like I didn't see one person touch the ball. We didn't see a thing of the rugby match. I genuinely stayed inside for the whole thing. It was so cold out. So, um, didn't see that, but now it's my birth week. So I'm actually gonna end the vlog here and I'm gonna start a new one. Um, I have finished my, I got my essay done that I had to get done. I've got one more due in two days. I think it's due on my birthday. Um, so that's gonna be in my next vlog doing that. But like, I know that this was probably the shittest vlog that I've ever in my life filmed. I said that I was gonna do a weekly vlog with, but then that week was genuinely, all I did was exams and essays. So that's just not interesting to watch at all. Got a really fun week planned this week actually. So watch my next vlog. I promise it'll be better than this. Thanks for sticking around though. Bye, love you.